Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you feel about our sleeping skills, Caitlin? I'm impressed. I am impressed too. We truly guessed it. We cracked the case. Our very last official guess was... <laughs> yeah, it was kind of wavering at the end. I'm glad I stayed with Gerda. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that you had that idea because I had kind of forgotten about her until you brought it up the last time that we filmed. And... Mm -hmm. Yep, that was, that was pretty impressive. She did it. Very impressive ending. I did like the fact that um, Agatha Christie got her off of the suspect list almost immediately mm -hmm. for us and for um, Hercule Poirot. Like that was just really cool. Yes. I really liked that twist. And I did like the fact that um, the same theme throughout that they were protecting Gerda. Even John at the end protecting Gerda. Like that mm -hmm. just seemed, I, I did like that. Everybody was protecting her, even though she's a murderer. And not, she tried to kill somebody else at the end. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was not a fan of that ending. Me neither, because Poirot, like, there was never a moment where he, like, comes in and says, all right, here's how uh, yes. everything went down. Yes. You figure it out before he is on the scene, even. Yeah, I, I did not like that. Plus, I also didn't like the fact that he was kind of like, Go ahead, drink the tea. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it was, they poisoned. <laughs> Seemed a little hard. was trying to poison Henrietta with tea, and where I was like, "Yeah, drink it." Yeah, um, that just seemed a little cold-hearted. He well, I guess he is kind of cold-hearted, isn't he? I guess. Yeah, that's I feel like true. That's part like of his character. He's just very. Yes. Yeah, he's not I guess mean. More... He's not mean, but he's also not like. Yeah. He's just observing everything go down. Including yeah. people dying. Yeah, he was. I, I was kind of surprised that he let that happen. I was surprised because, and I was also surprised that Agatha Christie wrote that ending, and then had her characters be like, "Well, everything happened for the best, but there's two kids left." Yeah. Like, did everything happen for the best? Cause now they're orphans. Now there's two orphans. So I feel like, I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of that. Yeah. I also. I did feel like this was just kind of, it was more simple than what I was expecting, so mm -hmm. I think that kind of disappointed me a little bit. Yeah. We did not use the clues that she set down. Like, we didn't use the horse clue. I didn't actually understand that. Like, what did we care what was going on with the well, gun? Well, I think she, yeah, like, she hid the gun inside this horse statue, yeah. but, like, it wasn't like we were, like, really trying to... I, didn't, I never really cared much about finding the gun. No, I never even thought that was part of it. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't even, it didn't even occur to me. Yeah. Uh, but at least we guessed, at least we saw the I'm puzzle. very proud of us. <laughs> at least we cracked the case. <laughs> and yeah. I, what was it, there was one other thing that kind of bothered me, was at the end, Henrietta felt like she was kind of cold hearted. Like, she kind of came away from it feeling like, forgive me, I'm so cold-hearted. I don't When she was doing the um, sculpture of grieving, and she was kind of, it just... Oh, yeah. And she kind of was, like, sad for herself, like, that she was so cold-hearted, but I thought, she's not. She protected Gerda that whole time, which, how can you be, how would you protect the person you're in love with's wife if you're cold-hearted? You're not. So right. I feel like that was, that kind of made me sad at the end yeah. for Henrietta. She was a pretty complex character. Mm hmm I was also very happy that um, Edward and Midge, like, it was neither of them, so they just get to live happily ever after with each other. I agree. And I don't really know why so much time was spent on their relationship, but I'm not mad about I, it. I know. That was, that was dear. That was it such was. a cute relationship. So heartwarming. <laughs> I guess not cute's not the word since she saved him from trying to kill himself. Yeah. But it was um <laughs> it was endearing, heartwarming. That I really liked that little yeah. digression, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure what it did for the mystery, but glad really that it was not it. a clue. Glad felt that like it I was wasn't. reading a romance all of a sudden. Yep, and that's <laughs> fine. I was okay with yeah. that. So I think this was an excellent I enjoyed this a lot. This is absolutely 
the way to read a mystery is with a friend mm -hmm. where you can I discuss. completely agree. And that, that was really fun. I thought it was so much fun taking breaks, taking notes, uh -huh. comparing our and thoughts. And like having the sense, like the suspense build up between each session. Yep. Mm -hmm. And having to limit ourselves to seven chapters. You can't read ahead. You have to actually think about it. And so many things you brought up I would have missed completely. So I yeah, really I like that. Way. Yeah. More so than a book club where you're just kind of like, after the fact, talking about a book. Right. I enjoy to read along so uh -huh. much more. Me too. That being said. <laughs> this will not be our last. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you'd like to put um, suggestions in the comments of mysteries that you would like us to take a shot at, or cases you'd like us to crack. Let us know. And we will, we will be back. We will take it on. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed this. We hope that you were also successful in solving the puzzle of the hollow by Agatha Christie. <laughs> <laughs> so like and subscribe and don't forget to give us suggestions. See ya. Bye.